Hey, what's up? Welcome to live.besttechie.net, the place where we talk tech, answer your tech questions, and everything that's related to technology. In today's video, well, one of today's video, we've done a few now, uh, we're going to compile a list of the top five Mac applications for both the regular user and the power user. And uh, we've compiled a pretty good list today with the chat room. I and myself, we've compiled a pretty decent list, we think. And we're going to share it with you. These are all must-have or must-use applications if you're an OS X user. Highly recommend these following applications. We're going to start off with the power users first. You guys, if you're into audio, I know a lot of people on the Mac side are into audio or, or um, you know, either have a stream now or they, they, they like, they need a mixer maybe, right? And you need a mixer. But you don't want to shell out the cash for a hardware mixer. Well, check out this program called Audio Hijack Pro. It's essentially a virtual audio mixer, and it's phenomenal. It does a really, really, really nice job. I've messed with it. I have a friend, um, David, from David's Tech Show.net, who uses it all the time. He loves it. And he's an audiophile, he, as, me, as I am. He's really into the audio thing. He loves it, uses it all the time. So I highly recommend that application. Also... If you have a site and you need access to this web to a website, you need to upload files. I recommend an application called Expand Drive. I actually did a review on it uh, a few weeks ago. I was on the cruise ship actually, and this application essentially it's an FTP and uh, secure FTP SFTP application where it uses SSH port 22 to connect to your server, and it mounts your your server as an actual drive almost a virtual drive, a network drive. And you can access it um, as if you were actually access it through Finder as it as it mount, as it mounts it as a regular old network drive. So you can mess with files, edit files on the fly, and really drag and drop work within uh, the server as if it was part of OS X. Also, I recommend if you have a live video stream, this application is a must on OS X. It's called Cam Twist. It enables you to do a number of different things. You can add um, you know logos, text, images. RSS feeds, you name it, this application can do it almost on a live video stream. Really, really neat. Check out Cam Twist. Also, you got to check out if you're on a Mac and you need to run Windows, perhaps, or any other operating system, maybe Ubuntu or Ubuntu, whatever you like to say, Linux distribution, whatever it may be. Check out this application called VMware Fusion. Now, they do have a VMware on the Windows side of things uh, called Workstation, but it is nowhere near, nowhere near as good as Fusion. Fusion is phenomenal. The seamless integration, which I've actually shown off in previous YouTube videos, just flat out amazing how it seamlessly integrates within the OS X operating system. Phenomenal application. Recommend it highly. Last application for the power user that I'm going to recommend today is called Secrets. Secrets, it was actually shown to me by Chris Perillo earlier today, and I just fell in love with it as soon as I installed it. Basically, you install it, it, add, it adds a little um, spot in your system preferences, and this thing can totally customize um, a number of different applications on your Mac. Almost, uh, it, it customizes half of the system applications, if not more, if not all, almost all of them, with some kind of uh, you know functionality increase, um, as well as applications you install. Even it even has fun. It, blah, blah, blah. it even has um, uh, features that you can enable with, for Audio Hijack Pro and a number of other ones that I've installed. So that check that out. That's really cool. Secrets is definitely a worthwhile download. Has some pretty decent uh, little hacks, if you will, in there. For the regular users now, I know you guys probably use, maybe you use some of these applications. Even if you're a power user, you probably use these applications. Uh, even if you don't, check them out. They're worth um, the download or even to check it out if it's already built into OS X, as you will see some of these are. The first one I'd like to recommend is called Mail, which is OS X's default mail client. It really in, in Leopard, they really um, improved it greatly from from uh, Tiger. Like, really. Um, it's really up there now with competing with Outlook, in my opinion. Very close. I love the way it handles um, user user email accounts and splits them up into different mailboxes. Something Outlook doesn't really do very well at all. Unless you set up like crazy rules, it takes forever. Um, so, mail's excellent. I love the way it sorts mail. I uh, also love the way it has the to-do list built in, the reminders and everything just set up really, really nicely. Next thing I want to recommend for the regular old user is called Adium. It's an instant messenger client, similar on Windows to Trillion or Digsby, which is actually going to have a uh, Mac client if they don't already. I know they're working on one. 
Um, it's a all-in-one client. You can use MSN, Yahoo, ICQ, uh, AIM, whatever, you name it. You can use it on, an, on ADM, and it's just flat-out amazing. I know they're working on video support, so expect that soon from ADM. I'm pretty sure that that should be out relatively soon. They're definitely working on it. I have seen the change log. The change log that they've stated, oh, we're going to have video soon, so hopefully that'll be the case. Next, this thing's built into OS X as well. It's called Spotlight. Spotlight, um, it's built into OS X. You may not know it, but it is probably the best, the best search feature, um, search application, as well as you know, application to sort through files, even do math on OS X. It, it trumps Windows search like by leaps and bounds. It's just so much better. Um, you can even do quick little math calculations in there if you needed to. But it just, it's fast, it's efficient, it searches so freaking fast. Like, you type in something, it pops up a list of everything that's relevant, and it sorts it um, so nicely. So, use Spotlight if you don't, because it really saves a lot of time, especially when looking for stuff. Also, the next one's built into OS X, with uh, Leopard, actually. It's called Spaces. If you don't use Spaces, I highly recommend you enable it and you play with it, because Spaces allows you to essentially have multiple monitors on one monitor. Um, you create little de separate desktops, virtual desktops, and you can assign applications to be in each specific space. So you always have the same applications in one space or another, instead of having all the applications in one single monitor, um, one single desktop, if you will, area. Um, so that really makes things much more organized and nicely and nice to work with, especially if you use a lot of applications at once. Next on the list, this is a must, must, must have for anyone who has a MacBook or a MacBook Pro, even MacBook Air now, highly recommend you check this out. It's called iAlertU. It's basically an application, and it's a it's it's like an application that basically provides you with an anti-theft system for your for your Mac. Uh, if you have a, a laptop, a Mac laptop, why wouldn't you want one of this? If you if your Mac if your if your MacBook gets stolen, your MacBook Pro, your MacBook Air, this thing will save your butt. Um, lock it down, everything's cool, and uh, it's really, really awesome. Got some pretty good stories, I think, if you check it out. I alert you, definitely worth the download. That's been this video for top five Mac OS X applications that you must have, must use for the power user and the regular user. If you have anything else you want to add to this list, I know it's only five, we could have went on for like ten or maybe more, but uh, add it in the comments, I'm going to have the video and everything up on the blog. Check it out. Thanks for watching. This has been live.best.tech.net, and uh, we'll see you next time.